Uh, my name is Diego Sagasti, and uh, I'm going to talk about real industry 4.0 uh, projects with affordable and not so affordable devices. And that's why uh, we work with many different uh, companies with different budgets, and they not always uh, can afford uh, to work with uh, HoloLens or with the Dacry helmet. Uh, sometimes they have to use only cell phones, tablets, or uh, workers' uh, cell phones, their own cell phones. So, well, very quickly I'm going to talk about uh, my company. Uh, I work for Technalia, which is a research and technological development center, uh, which is multi-sectorial and multi-technology. Uh, we are divided in uh, different uh, divisions like ICT, energy and environment, sustainable construction, industry and transport, health, technological services. Well, a lot of uh, different, it's multi-sectoral. We are 1,400 people there with uh, more than 200 uh, PhDs. And well, our income is just uh, 100 million euros, uh, and we have more than 4,000 companies as a, as a client. And well, uh, here we are in the red dot, uh, but uh, we live in, I live in, in Spain, in Europe, uh, exactly in, in the north of Spain, in a, in a region called the Basque Country. May, it's well known maybe because it's culture, this is the Guggenheim Museum because it's cozy cities. Sorry. Okay. Thank you very much. This is better, maybe. I don't know. So uh, this is uh, my, my city. It's also well known by its food. You have to taste it. It's uh, incredible by its uh, incredible landscapes. But well, the most important thing uh, uh, of, of the Basque Country is that it's a very uh, industrialized region. It's one of the most industrialized uh, regions in Europe. And there are a lot of uh, companies uh, working in Industry 4.0. Uh, they know that uh, it is very important to, to know the technology, to improve, to innovate. And that's uh, very good for us because we want to, to give them this, this technology and they demand us uh, this technology. So they want uh, inter new interfaces, they want uh, AR, so we are going to talk about uh, different ca cases about foundry, manufacturing, energy, maintenance, engineering and control and oil and gas. All of them uh, in, the, in this past country region. Okay, uh, we create, we develop uh, the three well-known concepts, uh, remote assistance, the user remote expert collaboration. Uh, this is very useful for them and it's uh, usually very cheap. Uh, the second concept is the augmented guide and training. Uh, this is the most demanded application from companies. Uh, they are very interested in cheap training for their workers, uh, for the young workers or non-expert workers. And they also want to create their own uh, applications, their own guides. And that's why we have created uh, an authoring tool for creating these, uh, these uh, augmented uh, guides. And of course, the third concept, the augmented worker, the whole concept. Uh, all the information in one mobile person. Uh, the trend in industry now is to join together all the information of one enterprise, I uh, ERP, uh, mess everything uh, in one point uh, and in, uh, especially in one person that is mobile uh, this person uh, should move uh, around the around the factory around the company uh, being able to know everything uh, being able to act wherever or whenever uh, he is okay this is the first example uh, in foundry uh, in this company, they had uh, a problem that uh, a common problem in many many fact in many companies, the employee turnover. They have a lot of non-expert users, and they have to train them. Uh, they usually have to debar big pieces of metal coming directly from the foundry, this way. And, and well, uh, our solution was uh, the AR training and AR guiding. 
So the AR training, why AR for training? This is a specific case because we thought that the wow effect is uh, uh, was good because uh, the user they don't know uh, about AR and maybe they they are they are more interested in this uh, in these technologies in in the training. This is uh, an example of how how do they have to 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 maintain everything. And secondly, uh, the AR guiding. They have to to work with these uh, specific uh, pieces, and we use uh, different uh, devices like the Bluetooth M100, the Epson BT200, and they have to wear uh, the helmet and the gloves. So it is not very easy for the, these people to use these these devices. We thought about how to interact with this app and a very easy solution was to use the occlusion virtual buttons to to manage the next uh, or previous uh, task so it's very easy for them it's a, a light uh, user interface they don't need anything else they don't need where do they have to put the the machine where do they have to the bar uh, and how and it's very easy this is a photo with with the devices and well the they, they were very very happy with this this task with this uh, project uh, there were problems with devices and helmets and uh, uh, they, they wanted more and they were so interested that uh, we are now developing a second version we are trying different devices new devices and well, they they are very very interested in, in using this. Okay, uh, second another one. Uh, AR training in automotive components company, a very important uh, company. Why again employee turnover with non experts? They have to to do simple things, but they have to know how to do these these things. So the task was uh, assembling different elements of, of a component. And we created this uh, this uh, AR training, AR guide. Uh, they have to to assemble different pieces. They use gestural interaction. They only used uh, as a as a training because they don't know don't, they don't have to use it during the the the, the work. So they could uh, use the Busix, the Epson, but they uh, decided to use the the tablet because it has no wires. Uh, the battery is not a problem. Uh, are very cheap. Everybody has a, have a, a tablet or a cell phone, so it was a, a, a nice project. Another project uh, related to energy, uh, the augmented worker. It was a. Uh, uh, project with uh, another division in, in Tecnalia that they wanted to, to uh, add innovation in medium voltage uh, equipment and they, they wanted to, to know more uh, with this uh, with these equipments to have information directly from the, the machine and well we created the developed this, this solution that identifies each uh, machine each equipment and connects directly to the SCADA system, SCADA system, and gets the information and show it uh, this is this information directly using augmented reality on the on the machine. We use tablets, and it was this was very useful because it was the first approach to to another related projects that are now working we are we are developing on. So it was very 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 interesting. Uh, this is a more complex project uh, that involves uh, more, uh, a lot of companies and one of these companies, uh, uh, the maintenance, they mant uh, maintain uh, telephony uh, antennas and they said, okay, a non-expert user is cheaper than an expert user. So this is it. Uh, and they have a lot of experts in office uh, that they are doing nothing during the most most of the time, so they th they they prefer uh, to hire uh, non-expert users, and they have to train them, and they don't want to do it. So they asked us about how to easily uh, train these people, and we created three different applications. 
First of all, we created, developed a remote assistant uh, application, typically, uh, our own system. Uh, we developed an AR training and guiding applications in order, uh, when they don't have uh, internet connection, for example, in the mountains, uh, they can use this, uh, this guide. And an altering tool because they wanted to create their own guides. So they are uh, every time changing the, the guidings. So it is very useful for them. We tried ta tablet boothics. And well, uh, the conclusion was that mm, now they have more non-expert users. This is cheap. And they have less unoccupied, uh, unoccupied uh, experts in, in the office. This is the just uh, images of the first day using this, this appli these applications. Well, uh, a small <laughs> example in engineering, uh, an engineering uh, company uh, they wanted to to show the informations, uh, the information they, they use every day, to show infor uh, this info using augmented reality and a wow effects maybe to their clients or people. Uh, so we created a, an application that does it. Okay, I like that, uh, this. Uh, this is my preferred uh, application. We think that is a success uh, case. Uh, there was a problem in, in this company. Uh, they work 24-7. Uh, again, they, they have a lot of employee turnover. They have non-experts. And the non-experts, they work alone by night. So they have uh, a lane. Uh, and they don't know how to, uh, sometimes they have unexpected configurations of the system. They have to, to reset uh, a lane. And there's only one person in the whole company that knows how to do it. And this person, uh, he likes uh, dr uh, dream, so, so he, he usually had to, to get up and go to the, to the company. And they asked uh, about a, a solution. Well, this is the the the, the example of uh, of how it does it work. And the solution was an AR guiding or training uh, from 25 to 60 steps, which are very every day is doing the same, every time doing the same. So this application. Uh, this is very is very intuitive for them, and this uh, the workers being asked about how do did they they, they feel, they they felt very confident on being alone at, at night. So uh, this was incredible. They they were working uh, for 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 two years, I think, and for for, for the first very first time was the first time that they they they, they were confident to to work. So uh, we think it is a, a very a success case. And uh, indeed, uh, the company wants uh, more AR guides for different lines. OK. Was okay. Another, uh, another example, this is uh, an industry 4.0 uh, uh, example uh, co-founded by the Basque Country. Uh, they wanted to join uh, a lot of different uh, parts of the, this industry 4.0, cybersecurity, indoor location, augmented reality, decision-making software, IoT. And well, uh, we developed uh, different, a lot of different uh, parts of this uh, augmented guide, uh, alarm cases, but this is a short uh, video. Uh, this is a uh, an additive uh, manufacturing machine. It's a huge machine. Machine, and he, this machine is training. We are using Hololens here, and how to prepare to set up uh, this this machine in order to 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 get to work. So it's very easily. Maybe you have be, uh, seen something related to this, but it's with with no uh, words, no text. Very easily, the user knows how to do things, how to use the the brackets, uh, torques, uh, everything. It's very useful. It's, uh, it was so so impressive that the manufacturer of these uh, machines they want now uh, to include this kind of uh, augmented uh, manuals, augmented guides uh, with their machines. Are incredibly big machines. 
and they can afford for these uh, these applications. Okay, and well, this is the the last uh, the last case, gas and oil. We have uh, there uh, an incredible company in the Basque Country, the in, in gas and oil, and they had a problem because they they have now to train 500 new workers, and they are only five people there and they have one year to do it and uh, they ask us about how to do it and uh, it's a problem that they have to be with the the trainer uh, during uh, for for nine months uh, with each worker working with them knowing how to do uh, how to do things and well uh, they have also to maintain uh, several things during uh, five years so for these though these two problems we suggested uh, uh, using AR guiding and training with connection with data systems, uh, of course, with Hollens. But there are some problems where uh, the environment is, is, is incredibly problematic. This is a lane. It's, uh, it has uh, 100 meters long. And there is only one person who works here. And they, uh, this person uh, needs to know everything and Maybe it's a problem in the other part. So they were very, very interested in controlling this this whole lane. Uh, so well, we are working on it. Uh, problems: uh, you have to wear a helmet, a safe helmet. Uh, sometimes it is a rainy weather, so this is a problem with whole lens or these kind of things. And uh, well, there is also a problem with the cage tank ladder. Uh, because uh, the, the workers usually have to go to the have to use these cage tank ladders and the hololens loses the where where it is so can't can't can know where is uh, everything so this we have a problem here and well uh, conclusions you have to find the device that best fits for each case uh, no matter well sometimes the best case is just a tablet uh, sometimes you have to wear to 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 use hololens well it depends the budget you have safety is very important but uh it's very complicated nearly always you have to be hands free in company this kind of companies robustness is very very important you can you have to take into account file of view weight and battery always and in, in user interface, uh, mostly uh, less is more. Well, this is it. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Diego.